written by the International Court of Justice. There is no prohibition in international law on the unilateral declaration of independence. Well, I, I think I'm both a constitutionalist and a revolutionary. At this point in time, I'm standing here in South Africa, and therefore I'm bound by the terms of the South African Constitution, and therefore I'm a constitutionalist. But the Constitution, by its very nature, is a, a pact between the people and the state. And fundamentally, the people of the Western Cape, if they so choose, can elect out of that pact and decide that they would rather not be part of South Africa, would rather be an independent state. And obviously then, that situation, they would look to the provisions of international law. And I'm sure you're aware of the 2010 declaration by the International Court of Justice that said there is no prohibition in international law on the unilateral declaration of independence. And ultimately, I see the Western Cape or Cape independence, providing that we have the democratic will of the people in the Western Cape has been a negotiated political solution that is neither constitutional nor revolutionary, but a bit of both.